Hear now the word of the Lord in 1 Corinthians 12, 12 through 27. The body is a unit. Though it is made up of many parts, and though all its parts are many, they form one body. So it is with Christ. For we were all baptized by one Spirit into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slave or free, and we were all given the one Spirit to drink. And if the ear should say, Because I am not an eye, I do not belong to the body, it would not for that reason cease to be part of the body. But in fact, God has arranged the parts in the body, every one of them, just as he wanted them to be. If they were all one part, where would the body be? As it is, there are many parts, but one body. Over these last few weeks through summer, we've been sharing together in the study of the gifts of the Holy Spirit of God. And if you have been here over those weeks, then you will recognize the people on the platform this morning are those that I've been able to go out of here and find on campus using the gifts of the Spirit of God. Let me remind you again of those gifts. Each week, Jim Anderson teaches our seniors group in Bible study. Jim uses a gift of wisdom and knowledge. That gift that God has given to him is different from just research or intelligence. It's that plus more. It's the enlightenment that comes from God. Jim, week by week, uses that gift through wisdom and knowledge to be able to bring enlightenment to those who sit around him studying the Word of God. It's a very special gift. A few weeks ago, I went out and I stopped the bus as it was leaving our parking lot. Greg was on his way, as he does every week, using his gift. And it's a gift of miracles, so he didn't realise it. He goes out to the homeless shelter and picks up men and women who are going through a hard time in life. And he was able to share with us just by using that gift of the miracles that he has seen in the lives of those who have come here to Crossroads and have found more than just the welcoming church. They have found Christ who has radically changed their life. A gift of miracles. And then last week, we went to visit Connie as she was working with those who live in a world of deafness. And she brought them the gift of interpretation by being able to listen to what was being said and being able to communicate that through the actions of her hands. She brought meaning and help and blessing to those who are experiencing a world of deafness. You see what happens when we use the gifts of the Spirit of God. 